Hey you guys, I want to make a video about some things that women hate and these are things that are not a sign of a woman being reactive or angry or projecting our insecurities onto you. These are things that women don't like because they're weak uh, red flag behavior on the part of men. And this video is inspired by a lot of guys doing crappy things lately, me getting annoyed, me trying not to be annoyed, but also having learned from reading evolutionary psychology that we expect congruent, safe behavior from men and that women get annoyed when men act in weak ways. And I also got inspired by this video I'm going to link below by Sterling Cooper, who has really good advice for men, really good advice for men. Like, I feel like he really gets women. So he's the opposite of Kevin Samuels. So you ladies might want to check out his channel. He used to be a porn star, and I, uh, he says a high-class escort, and now he does coaching for men to help them how to get with women by being like a masculine, strong presence. So here are six things that men do and also inspired by a comment someone left for me that uh, me getting angry at weak men is me just projecting my own shadow onto men. Thank you for that psychoanalysis, but I'm going to disagree with you here and tell you that according to Sterling Cooper and... Um, other men too, like Jordan Peterson, Chris Williamson, I listen to a lot of different guys. Women don't like uh, these behaviors, and I don't like them either. And I don't see um, uh, escort clients who do a couple of these things. I won't see guys who do these things. Okay, the first one is being needy. We, you know, and... I want to say in defense of men that I do need men. I like a man who leads and is masculine, right? I like to see a man as someone I can count on with strength, intention, purpose, power. I want him to be like an oak tree. Um, so the first two things are he's not an oak tree because he's needy. He needs me. Uh, so when you need me, now I'm respond. now that I feel burdened. It's a huge fucking weight on me because instead of me being able to rely on you as the man, as the strong one, your neediness makes me responsible for reassuring you, validating you, caretaking you. And when it comes to neediness, the only people that should be needy are our animals and our children, our young children. And even they become less needy as they get older. So neediness is a huge turnoff. Women can be needy too. Uh, this goes for both sexes. Um, okay, the second one that's a turnoff is a guy that's trying too hard to please the woman. To me, that again relates to neediness. Like, please love me. How can I make you love me? Huge turn off, I want to say. Now you're not an oak tree. You're just like a whimpering little thing on the ground, like a little flaccid rope. And I can't count on a flaccid rope. The third one, and this is the number three and four, you can never be an escort client. Number three is incongruence. Your third thoughts, words, and actions don't line up. No, that's just a turn off. Um, that was with the guy on the LinkedIn who sent me that message, you know, pretending to want to talk to me about activism when he really just had a romantic interest, incongruent. The fourth one is indecisive. He doesn't know what he wants. He's wishy-washy, maybe this, maybe that. Again, not an oak tree, very bad behavior. I'm going to say all these go for women, too. I wouldn't like any of this in a woman. But with the man, we want a man to be decisive and to take the lead. That's really nice. Like Sterling Cooper gives the example of, you know, don't keep asking a woman, do you like this restaurant? Do you like that restaurant? What about this? Do you like this? Do you like that? Like that to me, again, is putting so much responsibility on me. And it's nice to have a man take the lead. Number five is the self-centered guy. He only talks about himself. 
he's either trying to impress the woman or he's looking for attention or validation and he's very again that's kind of a neediness to me again that's a neediness yeah then the last one is not having your own thoughts or opinions it shows to me that's also neediness <laughs> because you're not confident in your own opinions like you're afraid to have your own opinion um because you think that maybe she won't like you um, so I thought those were really good. So to sum it all up, women like men who are confident, who are not trying to impress us, um, have their own thoughts and opinions that are congruent in their thoughts, words, and actions, who are decisive and take the lead, and um, who don't need to be the center of attention all the time. Yeah, that's what we like. <laughs> um, I hope you like this video and thank you for watching.